I'm now going to remove the flange bolts that are slackened. You can gently juggle the unit. Bearing in mind this is going to be fairly heavy, so prepare yourself to take the weight and extract it from the rear axle. Once the differential has been removed, if it has suffered a major failure, swarf and broken bits of axle final drive will need to be cleaned out of the axle casing. With the gasket and the sealer in position, I can now proceed to insert a replacement differential. It's quite heavy, so prepare yourself for it. and we're in. It's good to have a bolt on standby or a nut on standby once it's in position just to secure it to stop it dropping back out again because we don't want it uh, falling out onto a hand or an arm. Now we can work round the faces of the hub and the flange need to be cleaned. Once cleaned, we can refit a replacement paper gasket to the flange. This can sometimes be substituted by a liquid sealant to form a gasket. In this instance, we're using the correct gasket. You can apply a very light jointing compound to go with that gasket, just to help seal it. So my gasket in place, we now insert the half shaft through the hub, gently sl sliding it in to meet the differential. Take one of our bolts. Keep it aligned. Good idea to start them all rather than tighten one up on its own. Get started. With the flange bolts tight, 
we can now apply a torque wrench to the bolts and apply a torque in this is instance 65 newton meters with this side done we can now repeat the same procedure to the opposite side I can now refit the drain plug back in the axle casing it's a tapered bung so it needs to be just nipped up tight With everything assembled, last thing for us to do is to top up the axle with a specified grade of oil, in this case an EP90, and we fill it up until it begins to flow and reaches the level. With the oil up to level, we can now replace the filler plug that's tapered and we can tighten.